morning. Welcome to the encouraging Keystone devotion. If you said quarantine, hey, we moved past that. Not because we don't believe that it's happening, but because we're moving on to bigger and better things. Our focus is not on the things that are happening on earth, but as we've been talking about in Perspective 2021, I just kicked the camera and that was probably distracting, but we're going to pretend like it didn't happen. Perspective 2021, our theme idea for this year as we're moving towards 2020 set the perspective. It's bringing into focus the things that we need to pay attention to and what we're starting to learn is the things that we started out aiming at in 2020, those things that we always thought were good goals and noble goals and great things are panning out in this day and time and this culture that we live in to be really foolish pursuits or really bad measurements of how good or bad we're doing. So we're changing that. Our focus is not on things on the earth, but we're moving towards things up above. That's what our focus is towards. So in Colossians, we've been studying this together, and it's been a fantastic study. I've enjoyed it. This passage that we're looking at right now, um, that we looked at starting on Sunday, if you didn't see that sermon, you need to download. It's available right now on our app, and I encourage you to do that. Um, if you really believe in what is happening, in fact, uh, I encourage you to join in giving here at Keystone Church because our goal is to really focus in really hard on these things that we're talking about right now in 2021. So we're aiming at it more than we ever have. And so um, we're being deliberate in that. And so if you want to get on board with that, then come on out and join us. And uh, that, that would be helpful. Um, so check that out on the app. Uh, watch the sermon. Listen to the sermon. If not, then let's just move on. You can still do this devotion without doing the sermon. But uh, man, there's a there, there's been this discussion that we've had the last few days about um, Paul and his love for the church, uh, and and he loved the church different than we love the church. Paul didn't love the building. There was no building to love. Paul didn't, and, and there's no building here really to love at Keystone Church. If you've ever seen our building, it's an old bar, and it's got so many issues, and it's so frustrating to, to deal with in so many ways. But um, that's not what Paul was talking about. He wasn't talking about the church being the place or the event that you go to. But the people, and he really loved the people, and he was passionate about the people, so passionate that what he did is he shouldered the responsibility and the burden of other people's growth in the Lord. Man, that's so contrasting to what we see because we're worried about our relationship. It's private. It's about me and how I can grow and what I need, and that's what we go to church looking for. And I encourage you away from that right now, but I want to share something else with you, all right? Here's another idea that is so fantastic. It is found in Colossians chapter 1, as Paul's laying it on about all the things that he believes about church. He says in verse 29, For this I toil, struggling with all his energy that he powerfully works within me. Isn't it, isn't it annoying to struggle through things right now? To be more frustrated with things right now, man, because I'm, I struggle through family life and figuring out how to do all this. I struggle through work life and trying to figure out how to do this church thing right now. I struggle through just me and how to be me and distracted and frustrated and all of that, but how to just be me. And it, it's annoying to struggle through these things. And that's why we looked so forward to 2021, because the idea was that the, the page turn would be the new beginning. And it doesn't seem like it really is just that fresh of a beginning. It seems like more toil and more struggle. So it's the struggle is not going to stop. The question then becomes, what do I struggle for? And that's where Paul's passion came in. See, Paul was passionate about the church, not just his church. Don't hear that, because once again, Paul did not go to the church that he's writing. He didn't even start the church that he's writing to. And he's writing to this church from prison, in a place where he probably should be concerned about all that he has going on. He was not concerned about what he has going on. He was concerned that other people grew, and as he says in this passage, in the understanding and the word of God to become mature Christians fully developed. He was worried about other people becoming that. So it caused him toil, or he struggled through it. He fought and he labored and he went at an effort. And church is not an effort for us. You know why? Because we go to church expecting a service. 
church should serve me. If there's effort there, then the effort is not for me and I can find an easier way of consuming what I need. Our perspective is different, though. Those aren't the things that we aim at. We're looking above and aiming at the things that are above. And notice where Paul got his energy. This is the part that I think is important. If I struggle for work, you know where I'm going to find that energy. I've got to dig down and find it inside of me. If I struggle for anything else that I want to struggle for, I've got to dig down inside of me. And eventually I get to the bottom and I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel and I just don't have the energy or the ability left But Paul says that in his toil and struggle, which is his love for the church, he finds inside of himself an extra layer of energy because it's an energy that comes from God. What effort have you put into the church? I mean, you've you've made your kingdoms. You've made the effort towards your accomplishments and your goals and your great things. But what effort have you genuinely put into presenting everybody mature in Christ? It's your responsibility. We can't get away from it. It's our responsibility. So what struggle, what toil, what passion do we have for that? Man, I hope your mind's changed as you think about that. God, thank you for your passion your struggle and your toil for us, the example that you set, because you love the church even more than Paul. And God, people are struggling right now, and they're hurting. And it's going to take a lot of effort, a lot of toiling to help people heal, to bring people back together. So God, we're going to need an extra level of energy Will you give that to us today for your glory and for your honor? In your name we pray. Amen.